Skullsmost.com, I'm Mark here with Grutal of Enslaved. How the hell are you, sir? I'm good, yeah. Nice Very to be good. back in New York. I know, right? Yeah. Well, you're obviously on this tour of Between the Very Me, Enter Not, Native Construct, which I thought when the tour came out was a very cool bill because it's all different types of metal all coming together. So for you, how has the response from the fans been for you guys? Well, it's been great. I mean, uh, there's um, it's been a good share of enslaved fans on the shows. And uh, I hope we have, um, I've all, actually, I know we have gotten some new ones too, you know, the, yeah. uh, Metalheads metal that were not uh, either aware of, of us uh, or haven't checked us out live before. So uh, we've been talking to uh, quite a lot of those guys uh, yeah. on this tour. So that, that has been good. We gained some new uh, new fans, new friends. That's good. Very cool. Well, yeah. obviously, still touring for End Times, which came out earlier this year. Now that, I mean, last time you were here, that record had just came out. So now that you're here and you've been able to play the songs live, like how, how have you felt about these songs, especially on stage? I mean, uh, the last time we, uh, we actually went, uh, went on tour in March, uh, six days before the album came yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, people are a lot more familiar with this, with this stuff now, uh, our own fans at least. Yeah. And, uh, but I mean, this is a shorter set, so we, um, it's only 50 minute set instead of uh, one hour, hour and a half. So the, I mean, we were able to play more songs from the new album um, on that tour than yeah. we are now. But uh, yeah. But I mean, we, we, we basically play uh, all the songs we play tonight, uh, at least our own fans are really familiar with. So, okay. uh, yeah. yeah. So I, I, I think they're, they're probably having a good time. Very cool, very cool. I hope so. Well, I mean, In Times for me was a record that I liked it right off the bat, but then the more I listened to it, the more it grew on me. And then I heard in a new interview that the track listing was actually in the way you guys wrote the songs. Yeah. Which was kind of crazy. Like. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, we actually, we, we, we we didn't, we didn't have that in mind when, yeah. when we, we started the, re, uh, the recordings. We just, uh, we just, I, I it just, I just looked at the the order of, of you, know, you know, the final order, the way, yeah. what we decided for, and and I said to Eva, uh, you know, this is crazy, but this is actually in the exact same order as <laughs> ever made. And he was like, yeah, uh, and that, that has never happened before. So yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah. Was, that was pretty cool. You know? But I mean. Uh, all the enslaved recordings and writing processes are always. Uh, we always just start and uh, see where we end. I mean, we, we don't have any uh, s specific goals when we yeah. when we uh, are writing stuff. Or, I mean, we're not we're not trying to please anyone. We're not. Uh, I mean, but ourselves, of course. Yeah. So it, it's not uh, adjusted to 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 anything uh, in any way. Yeah. So it's just going with the flow, and that uh, that's the, uh, that, that, that's pretty deliberating, you know. Yeah. I mean, it seems like. In every one of your interviews, everybody talks about the progression of how y'all have changed and everything, but it's, I think it's just y'all being more honest as the years go by. This is what you love and this is what you're gonna play. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I mean, if we didn't evolve, if we didn't uh, develop, I mean, it, it, we wouldn't have been doing this for, uh, yeah. you know, well, it's 25 years, years <laughs> in 2016, next year. So yeah. um, I think that, that that's, the, that's the main reason, actually, because we like to put that challenge up on ourselves, you know? Yeah. And that's the only challenge uh, it really matters, you know. Yeah. Well, you mentioned 25 years. You're doing some, some special shows in Europe next year. Is it kind of mind-boggling to you that it's been 25 years, or is it kind of like it kind of feels like 25 years? Uh, well, uh, yeah. I mean, yes and no. I, I mean, uh, when I'm having a, let's say, if I've been partying a little, a little too much, you know, uh, after a, after a nice gig, it, yeah. it, it feels like 50 years, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, on the other hand, if I think back, it has been. Uh, yeah, I mean, 91 seem, seems like yesterday Yeah. at the same time. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of an ambivalent thing, really. You know? Well, it seems like the fire is still there. Like, the, the, the love for the music, the passion is still there more than ever. Oh, yeah, 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 absolutely. I mean, if it wasn't there, we wouldn't be doing this. Yeah. And especially, uh, especially just playing live, actually. That's the most enjoyable thing with being in a band, I think, actually. Yeah. I, I could do without the traveling, you know. Uh, the tour bus uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> after a month, it's like, <laughs> you know, it's uh, a lot of guys. It's a lot of guys. Yeah, and you know, I, I would 
everybody knows what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Is there something you bring on tour that makes you feel okay when you're on the tour bus? Is there like a, a book or a, a certain album or something? That... Booze. Yeah. Booze works. I mean, I mean, we don't listen to music. Uh, I listen to music only sometimes to fall asleep, you know, like playlist or, or whatever. But I mean, uh, the whole day uh, is about music. I mean, it's about sound check, line check, PA check. Yeah. Uh, listen to all the other bands uh, involuntarily, you know. So the muse, uh, the head gets gets enough music. Yeah. Yeah. So not that much music actually, but uh, of course books and uh, we like we like to watch stupid movies. Yeah. You, know, you like love Family Guy, obviously. Family Guy, of course, of course. and uh, we uh, we like to you know just sit down on the on the tour bus on a day off and watch silly movies like uh, you know like Family Guy or like. We watched Anchorman 2 last night. Right. It was like, <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't get old. Yeah, I mean, you do. You think so that you don't, you don't have to concentrate at all. Just sitting there, just like <laughs> maybe having a few beers and yeah, ha ha ha. No, it's like you kind of get your ma minds off things, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try to get a, you know the brain to relax a little bit. Two thousand fifteen obviously is coming to an end. You released a new album and torn your asses off. You could wrap up this year in one word. What would it be? Busy. Busy. <laughs> <laughs> would you have any final words or last statements to the fans out there? Great to be back in New York. Um, hope to be, get back soon. Um, actually, I, I like the, the other venue better. <laughs> Woo, Gramercy! You get a shout out. <laughs> Gretel, well, thank you very much. Nice to bat, you know. And Times is out right now. Go pick it up and support the Mighty Enslaved.